Hello, today is the 19th of July, and I'll be sharing the devotion from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, along with my insights and the scriptures that accompany this devotion. Bring me all your feelings, even the ones you wish you didn't have. Fear and anxiety still plague you. Feelings, per se, are not sinful, but they can be temptations to sin. Blazing missiles of fear fly at you day and night. These attacks from the evil one come at you relentlessly. Use your shield of faith to extinguish those flaming arrows. Affirm your trust in me, regardless of how you feel. And if you persist, your feelings will eventually fall in line with your faith. Do not hide from your fear or pretend it isn't there. Anxiety that you hide in the recesses of your heart will give birth to fear of fear, a monstrous stepchild. Bring your anxieties out into the light of my presence, where we can deal with them together. Concentrate on trusting me, and fearfulness will gradually lose its foothold within you. And that's very true, because the mere image of fear is trust. The mere image of anxiety is peace. And the enemy doesn't want you to have peace. Why would he? He's miserable. He wants you to be miserable like him. <laughs> Thankfully, we have our Savior, the Prince of Peace. So the first scripture I want to share with you is in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16, which says, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And I want to read seven, 17, which says, And take the helmet of salvation, and here it is, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. So the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. Now, to me, the most important, well, in my opinion, the most important part of this armor isn't even the armor. It's the weapon. You know, everything else that Paul describes is, is armor, is protection. But the weapon that he gives us is the sword, right? The sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Now, I envision myself being like a ninja that is loaded down with protection because of the armor of God. Protecting me, a ninja, because of my sword training right haven't always been a ninja but you know what in the mornings i make it a habit to read my scriptures because i don't know anybody that uses a weapon and is proficient at using that weapon that doesn't train and practice you have to you just you have to. You don't just get it one day. I don't know if you've ever held a sword, but they're super heavy. And if you go to battle, like that's heavy to start slinging around. Your shield of faith is going to protect you. But people hide behind their shield. And I'm the kind of person who wants to go out there and fight. Because I'm valiant for my Lord. And I challenge you to be valiant for your Lord. Scripture says that perfect love casts out all fear. Love the Savior perfectly and trust Him. And you will have nothing to be afraid of. He created everything. Everything. And He's on our side. Go out there and train. Um, the next scripture that I'll share with you is in 1 John. Chapter 1, verses 5 through seven, which says, then this is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in the darkness, we lie and do not tell the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son cleanseth us from all sin. I would say that walking in the light 
is is not just um, a saying. Oh, I believe in Christ, so I walk in the light. No, I would say that it's I trust in Christ. I keep his commandments because I love him. And he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So I seek his will. The only way I can know his will is through prayer and studying the scriptures, which goes back to sword training right and the only reason that i'm going to train with the sword the word of god is because i have faith which is my shield it all works together uh, the last scripture that i'd like to share with you is isaiah 12 2 hundreds of years before the savior came but isaiah still had faith he was a messianic prophet he, he envisioned and saw the savior in his day and he says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. He's my strength and my song. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where most people would be frightened but because you're so confident in that situation, you, you have a smile on your face and people are looking at you like, are you really smiling right now? Yeah, because I know how this is gonna turn out. There's no reason to fear. And I tell you that with a smile because there is no reason to fear. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son you've been paid for so it doesn't matter what the devil throws at you he wants you to feel guilty or or shamed or insignificant or insufficient unworthy unloved he wants you to have a I can't do attitude but here's the thing it doesn't matter what he tries to lie to you about and make you anxious or fearful because nothing can separate you from the love of God nothing you are a child of God and you are loved and you are unique and you are special and you are worth every drop of blood that was shed for you by our Savior I love you peace be with you my friends